Okay. Okay, Jose Monkey. Okay. Find me. You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, so I did. Hi, I'm Jose Monkey, and I find people who ask to be found. People often wonder whether I use people's profiles to gather information when I'm trying to locate them. Most of the time, I do not. If I do, I will say so in the video when I explain how I found them. In this particular video, I did not look at this person's TikTok profile or any of their other videos except for the one that they tagged me in. However, in the course of following the clues in the video that I was tagged in, I found myself looking at one of his social media profiles and I gathered information from that. So what can we see? In this video, the guy on screen is challenging me to find his location in between bites of his popsicle. I guess he got so excited to make a video that he couldn't even finish eating. I don't usually have that effect on people, but I appreciate your enthusiasm. There's not a lot to see in this video. He just walks out to the middle of the road and gives us not quite a 360. It appears to be a mobile home park. We can see a few different homes, some lamp posts, and a basketball hoop near the end, but I'll come back to all that in a minute. We briefly see a partial license plate on this car, and I'm fairly certain it's a South Dakota plate, but that was a red herring, guys, because, spoiler alert, this is not South Dakota. But the plate did have me wondering for a bit. Guys, there is another major clue here. Sir, you are wearing a hoodie from the company that you work for, and there is not one but two phone numbers clearly visible. I googled those phone numbers and quickly got a better Business Bureau result for first choice tree experts in Dayton, Ohio. I also got an image result, which looked like a piece of clothing that was very similar to the hoodie you were wearing, so I was pretty sure I was right. But just because the business is in Dayton doesn't mean you were in Dayton. So I needed more info, but there wasn't really anything else in the video that I could use. So I just had to keep digging using the leads I had. The Better Business Bureau page showed me the name of the owner of the business. I made a note of that thinking, maybe it was you, but I had no way of knowing that at this point. So let's just call him Boss Man. The image result I mentioned led me to a Facebook page for First Choice Tree Experts. I didn't see much on that page that was useful, but just for the heck of it, I clicked on the mentions tab to see what Facebook users were saying about this business. And the very first post was from Boss Man. At least I suspected it was because he had the same name that I saw on the Better Business Bureau page. A quick peek at his profile confirms that he is, in fact, Boss Man. I looked more closely at Boss Man's profile just to figure out if it was you, but it wasn't. But then it occurred to me you were probably friends with Boss Man. So I looked at his friends list and I saw this guy right at the top. I wasn't 100% sure if it was you with the sunglasses and no popsicle in your mouth. So I peeked at a few other photos just to be sure and I saw this one, which looks to me like the same person that I saw in the video. I assume the popsicle is just out of frame. All of that is to say, I used your Facebook profile, which as a reminder, I found using the clues in the video you tagged me in to find which location I should be looking in. I should mention I had a bit of a dilemma here. What we see in the video strongly suggests that this person was exiting a home at the beginning of the video. Guys, I really do not like doing locations that are near people's homes. So I'm gonna to try to be intentionally vague as I finish explaining this in order to protect this person's privacy. Anyway, I started looking for mobile home parks in that area. And it was very difficult to know what to look for. To make matters worse, most of them did not have Google Street View inside of the park, so I was relying on satellite and aerial imagery for most of it. In situations like this, I like to form a mental picture of what this location would look like from above so that I have a better chance of recognizing it from satellite imagery. In this case, I didn't just visualize it. I grabbed a pen and paper and drew it. Okay, some things you can see here. This is the spot where Popsicle Man was standing. This is the row of homes that we can see on the right side. From the video, we, I know we have the following homes that I labeled A through C in the order that we see them in the video. Right to left, they are... House A, beige siding, white trim, dark shutters, peaked roof. House B, gray siding, white trim, white shutters, an AC unit in the window and one on the ground, and this lattice that we can see on the other side. And House C, which has red trim and a very distinctive round roof. I also made a note of how all the different homes around the area were positioned relative to each other, and I noted where I thought there might be a road nearby based on the one car I saw driving in your video. So I figured I'd try to look for a place like that. I also figured that the house with the red trim and the rounded roof would be a good thing to look for, assuming the 3D view was robust enough to spot something like that. And guys, I looked at several different locations, and I was getting pretty frustrated and thought I was going to have to give up. But then I spotted this place, which looks a lot like my diagram. And look at this row of homes here. Even though there's a vacant lot where house A should be, we've got a house that could be house B, and another house that looks like it could be house C, the one with the red trim and the rounded roof. But there was no Google Street View to confirm. Fortunately, there was a road nearby, right where I thought there'd be, by the way, and there were Google Street View photos for that road. But would I be able to see enough information from there to confirm this with certainty? You're standing at this corner in this mobile home park in Clark County, Ohio. I'm not going to be more specific than that, guys, but let me tell you how I know it's right. The Google Street View showed me homes A through C, but in reverse order because I was on the other side. So from left to right, we get... House A, beige siding, white trim, dark shutters, peaked roof. House B, gray siding, white trim, white shutters, AC unit in the window and one on the ground, and the lattice on the other side of the building. 
and how C, red trim and rounded roof. Guys, sorry for the long video. This one took a lot of explaining. Please like and share. And if anybody else would like me to figure out where one of their videos was recorded, tag me in a comment on that video.